up, Houston? It's your girl, Miss Bacon Baby, and this is Boss Up Houston. We do this every Saturday at 10 a.m., and I have the lovely, the real bosses of Houston in the building, and so we are going to give a little shout-out to the ladies that are sitting at the boss's table with your girl today. I have Miss Leanna. Jefferson, how you doing, Miss Lee? How are you? How good are morning, you? good morning. Good, good. And then we have Miss Sabrina Golden. Hey, hey. Yes, and the lovely Miss Monique Lusk is in the building today. What's popping? <laughs> <laughs> we have Miss Yvonne Moore. And last, but certainly not least, Miss Tequila Adolph is in the building, honey. Hey. And this is the Real Bosses of Houston. Uh, the women on this show are real bosses doing business and working and doing their thing in Houston, Texas. And the, the show is just going to bring you live updates of what's going on in Houston, what's uh, popping in finances, in business, in fashion, in music, in real estate in fitness blogs life events baby mm -hmm. we have everything you need to know right here on this show so we're gonna just jump in and get started um, with the Real Housewives of Houston our motto and our logo uh, or our motto and our theme for this year is 2019 expect the unexpected things and there are many many unexpected things that happen but we definitely want to highlight the unexpected things that happen to advance us and to uh, help us grow, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to go through and let the ladies uh, speak about some unexpected things that has happened in their business or in their walk um, as they've uh, been coming into 2019. It's day what, 12? 12. Yeah. 12. Ooh, baby, and I've yeah. had some unexpected mm -hmm. things. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm like, yes. wait a minute, what right. is going on? But I thank God because he does or he has um, been giving uh, me clarification. And he's also been giving me confirmation instantaneously. Mm -hmm. So those unexpected things, you know, I thank him for. So Tequila, girl, give us a little bit on uh some unexpected things that has happened in 2019 already for you. Unexpected things in 2019. First of all, hey everyone, and I just really thank God for being here. Um, a lot of changes and, and setbacks happened in 2018, so I'm blessed to be here. A lot of unexpected things was um, a choice in environments and different people right <laughs> that have come <laughs> in and out of my life and I just thank God for that because I realize that it's it's God's doing and I know right. that there's more that's coming uh, more that's happening this year and if I <clears throat> try to put all of the pieces and things together then um, it doesn't work and it didn't work on um, the past year so I'm just waiting to see what God has planned for me and that's that's the thing um, God is the head mm -hmm. uh, or should be the head of your life right. and so you should let him take control yeah Jesus take the wheel yeah. right and that's, <laughs> that's what I had to do <laughs> Girl, let me tell you. and when you let him you will learn that that flow, mm -hmm. the the situations, everything that comes into your life is just better, yep. right? Yep. Leanna, give us some unexpected things that's happening in your 2019, baby. Well, so far, 2019, not all that unexpected, but, okay. you know, a few great things going on. I'm moving forward, uh, of course, in a development uh, right now, have a big project going on awesome. in San Antonio, okay. and so uh, it's taken off real well. I'm doing good at that. So uh, also a little bit in the uh, Greek life going hmm. well for me right yeah, now. Just yeah. got elevated again. Awesome. And so, uh, you know, things are going well. I just praise God for everything and continue that I uh, hope that he continue to bless my life as I move forward. You okay. Know? Yeah. Elevation. I yes, love that. I love yes, that she yes, said that. Elevation, baby. That's, you know, growth, elevation. Right. Uh, we love that. And we love that God is has a part in that. Oh, yes, That's That's the best thing. Couldn't Come on, Sabrina. Him. Give us some unexpected things Ooh, in 2019. Had, unexpected things <laughs> happen, but <laughs> the Lord opened doors right away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right when I got the news, like, it was like, bam. Mm. Same day, 
I was like, okay, I see you guys. <laughs> I see but you. I always trust him, no matter how much, how bad, he's always come through. Right. You know, so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I had some unexpected things happen. Wonderful, wonderful. And Momo? Hi. Hi. Well, one of the most wonderful, unexpected things that has happened for me so far this year is obviously to be here with you beautiful ladies all of you inspire me in different ways and you know I like to clown and joke around I try to keep it like because life is about living your best life yeah. and uh, so at this I point in my life, life that's what I'm right. doing yeah. <laughs> and I flip the hair to that yes. and yes. to the petty <laughs> <laughs> You get up a flip. <laughs> Even right. if I flip my whole wig off, it's going to get flipped. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that was your unexpected things. Yeah, okay. This Wonderful. is great. Lovely. Lovely. Mm -hmm. The Boss Up Houston uh, ladies are in the building. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, Miss Yvonne, what are some unexpected things that have happened in your 2019? Mm -hmm. Well, hey, y'all. Um, this year... It's not the year I thought it was going to be because of the way that 2018 ended with, um, now that was very unexpected. A lot of um, great opportunities, a lot of things happened, especially towards the end of the year. Where I was like, wow, all these great things are happening with my business. Things are moving fast. Then I got my word from God for 2019, and it was open doors mm. and of course um at times we we take things and turn it into our own perspective yeah. and not god's understanding yep. and so i was like okay all these things are supposed to be happening god i was getting a little depressed <laughs> and i was like okay what happened to the open doors mm. um you know but i reminded myself uh yesterday that the open doors weren't necessarily everything pouring out it's your foot getting in the door you're networking you're knowing mm -hmm. people you're you're connecting mm -hmm. with people these these things that are the beginning of greater things and right. that all is i'm like i'm not the potter of my life mm -hmm. yeah. right. so god is the potter and i need to wait in his timing and every time i've waited in his timing of course it's the best timing so mm -hmm. i need to do that once again so right. i'm really excited about 2019. awesome, awesome. awesome. well you guys it's always uh great to um catch up with the ladies you know we we do a lot of things together but we also are great and awesome in our own lane and do a lot of things separately right. so i just wanted to you know know what y'all had going on and what started out your 2019 but again the unexpected things or um I, I just want to pour out some inspiration because God works a lot behind the scenes. Yes, he you does. never know yep. what yeah. he's going to do. And That's you right. never know right. what unexpected is going to just blow mm -hmm. your mind. Right. Exactly. So keep an open mind. Keep an open heart. And uh, we're expecting some unexpected things for you and your life, right. Houston. Right. So if you guys have some unexpected things that have happened or want to share a testimony or anything like that, definitely get on the live today mm -hmm. and uh, post Comment, like, share. Please yes. like, share, post, and comment on um, Boss Up Houston. This has been Boss Up Houston, the first, very first segment. Um, I hope that you're enjoying it. I have uh, the wonderful ladies, uh, the real bosses of Houston Yay. in the building. And we're going to get into our hot topics. So... Y'all know mm. it's right. been all over the news. Mm. Yes. yes. And we're going to talk about it on, on, on Boss Up <laughs> Houston. Because at the end of the day, um, your highs and your lows, mm. you yes. know, and how you handle and deal with that makes you a boss, right? Yep. Mm. Yep. So, R. Kelly, mm. let's mm. go. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, we want to thank Victoria Jones for joining in with us today. Yes. We want to oh, thank, thank you. Yvonne Sorry. Lambert Hello. for joining thank in. You, Charles Cobb the third, honey. I see one, two, three. That means third. Yes. yes. For joining in. Shout Kenneth out, Campbell. Out. Thank you for tuning in with us today as we discuss these dis topics that might be a little bit uncomfortable but need yes. to be said. Yes. Yeah. I see y'all on Houston. And if you uh, want to chime in, say hi. Uh, blow us yeah. some kisses. Hey, blow us some hearts. Yes. 
we're um doing live boss up houston right. so who wants to talk about or kelly first I, oh ooh. god <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh. Well, I, yeah, I, I want to I wanna just put my little two cents yeah, in. Please. Yeah. The thing is, he's a man. Mm-hmm. And everybody has decisions. And that's just the lifestyle that he likes to live. Because we can go far back from when he started. Right. The R. Kelly that I know is we all knew and everybody kept quiet that he was 27 and he married a 15 year old. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I said. At that right. point, oh, wow. back right. then. Aaliyah. It, yes, right. that's, that's what right. I'm talking right. about. So back then, back we knew that right. it was something, someone right. But yeah. everybody just kind of like paved over it so and nobody exactly. really said anything. Yeah. And then now here we are, fast forward, some of the girls that, you know, were abused and making accusations. But then as of yesterday, they went to, to I think, Trump Towers. They went to his house. Two girls were there, and they were like, ain't nothing wrong. We meant to be here. We Some This is our are. decision to stay. Wow. So, Some of them. You know, it's, it's, it's funny. It's, it's things that change. So I think everybody's blowing way out of proportion. I hate that he's making more money. Off, off of this, of it, yeah, you that's know what's that's happening. that's what's, what's happening. happening. He's getting well, the wrong kind of exposure. They did say that um, typically he was not by on the show, like he wasn't on board with the show that mm-hmm. came out about him. Mm-hmm. But we know that he's going to do some type of clap back, of course, some type of response. Of he's, already of he he's already doing it. He's already doing it. Yeah, and so I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Um, my personal. I have three girls, okay? Um, yeah. All right, all right. I have three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because he don't like women. He like girls. Like, that's he the likes thing girls. That Baby. people are missing. He and, and he doesn't like, even when you watch his interview that he did um, back in the day when the allegations first came out, Torre, the interviewer Torre asked him, he's like, are you, he just asked him, are you attracted to underage girls? And mm-hmm. he was like, when you say underage, what do you mean by that? Right. First of all, why are you even questioning <laughs> about uh-uh. the underage part? Underage means not legal. Right. Yes. Like if you can't yes. take them to the club and buy them a cocktail, then you don't need to be dating them. No. Why are you 14 years old? Personally, me, I'm with Shamiri. I have a daughter. She's 26 now. She just turned 26. But when I was 13, I was raped. So all I can think about at that time, and it was not by a, a family member that we know. It, it was it was a random guy to just pull me out the street coming from summer school. Hmm. So wow. it, the predators yeah, are out sorry. there. Yeah. Right. And you have to be mindful of your children. Right. Mm-hmm. I understand that people try yep. to say, oh, well, he was a victim. You know, her people, her people. This man has needs therapy. He has yes, a yes. problem. Sure. He don't need another number he one. He needs hit. an institution. No. He needs no. a, a coming to it's Jesus so moment. Yes. Okay. A mental. He needs some help. First of all, you are you doing music videos. You have women all around you all the time. Right. Yeah. All the time. We're all the women. And, and I think that was that's your that's, age. Right. Yes. That was my reserve <laughs> because. Um, um, we saw that Sparkle was on the, the yes. show and she was like, she was breaking down because she right. introduced her niece to him. Mm-hmm. And I yeah. feel like a lot of times we are starstruck. Yeah. Yep. And, um, you know, we would do anything to be in the, just in the in vicinity, the yeah. mm-hmm. in the mix, right, Leanna, in the mix with mm-hmm. a celebrity. Mm-hmm. Um, and or so. Money. Right, our money. Yeah. And then um, very early in my life, though, I I got rid of the uh, celebrity syndrome. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm a celebrity. Yeah, you are. Yeah. So I, I don't <laughs> need to be, you know, all that groupie and all right. that. Nah, boo, that's not me. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we need, I feel like we need to teach our young girls and even wim- older women, mm-hmm. um, you know, growing and, and maturing and learning who they are. They mm-hmm. need to learn that. That even though people are at a status, you still need to have a standard of living right. for yourself. But see, and that's where it was. It was they were 
easily influenced. Influenced, mm-hmm. yeah. And that's why he got them. Right. Yeah. So they at were that just young kids. age, you right. know, but, hey, you can tell who, them anything. Who is, their, who is over them? Who is their mentor? Where is their mother? Where is that's their parents? My Even point. with Sparkle, and, and that was my thing. It's like, yeah, you introduced him to him, but you knew he was going to her games. Mm-hmm. You uh-huh. knew he was showing up at the school. Mm-hmm. Like, what? where what, where was your she voice at like that time? she looked like a little girl, too. She don't Ooh, look yes. like... Yeah. When I was 13, I still had these girls. You know, these girls was just <laughs> coming in. So, I mean, I always got mistaken for being older right, yeah, than what right. I really am. Right. Right. She looked no. like she's somebody that I'm going to make a Barbie doll dress for. Like, mm-hmm. that's she's look like that. So, I'm just trying to see in his mind... I'm just trying to understand. <laughs> Remember, well, yeah, but yeah, you're right looking at a, you looking at a little thinking. girl that's probably yeah. still running around playing with Barbie. Like, yeah. how is that attractive to you? That's what I used to say. Why to me. is it? Yeah. yeah, that's what I used to say when I when I was a child and I got molested. How is me being nine years old attractive to you? Yeah. So yeah, for me. For me, I honestly just don't have respect for this man. I don't mm-hmm. care about all the number one hits and mm-hmm. all of that. You you heard all of those women's testimony. That's not even all the women. Those it's women, not, those women are being. Um, th- th- it's not part of a cult. It, it's not being held captive because they could leave. No, they want to yeah. be in there. They want to be there. Right, but. You, if you noticed after all of this stuff came out, he started at least going to eighteen. <laughs> but he's fifty-two. I know how old he is. <laughs> he's fifty-two. Because I remember, I remember a grown there's a lot man. of money involved t- also. I right. know. There's a lot of money involved, even right. with the parents. Yeah. Right. You know, yes. You have, you have yes. parents taking money, knowing that their daughters are fourteen, fifteen years yeah. old exactly. with this yeah. man. And, and that's mm-hmm. my and thing. That's okay. Where's your standard? Where's yeah. your value? And we as mentors and and the mothers and the aunts and Mm. the women that are in these young girls lives Mm. need to speak that into them look i don't care who it is it could be jesus yes Yes, (laughs) but jesus ain't gonna do that but i'm saying you're gonna turn some tables let's say obama because that's the next thing but you know it could be obama and you know you still have that set a standard and right. and we have to um stand on that you know mm-hmm. I, i've been in a lot of situations that could have went left yes yes because the industry i'm in the media i'm mm-hmm. in the entertainment we're mm-hmm. we're on radio we're on tv yeah. mm-hmm. this industry is crazy yeah. and it's right. a lot of situations that can go left Exactly. Yeah. You know, and so you just have to set a standard. You but you also have to think about they've been doing this since way back in the day. Since yeah. before Christ, yeah. since they biblical times. Their daughters. Daughters. I've been I've been saying it's biblical time for you know, some so land. Some land. It's like really yeah. in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. We know the story of Jacob. New. <laughs> it's not new, but like right. Tequila said, people are have been pushing it under the rug. You know, right. and as long as he put out a new hit and everybody likes the hits. You know, they just forget about the fact that he's a pedophile. He exactly. is a pedophile. But, but, pedophile. but, but this this oh, isn't ahead. this isn't a new No, it's not new issue. Mm-mm. For some reason in the African American community Especially. this gets swept under the rug. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People are being molested, mm-hmm. manipulated in their own homes mm-hmm. and their mm-hmm. families mm-hmm. and everybody just ignores it and puts it to the side and tries to go on as business as usual. Mm-hmm. This isn't new. That's that's something that um, people do in the black community. Mm-hmm. They just want to mm-hmm. keep whatever they feel is good going right you know i've been in a a abusive relationship and people say why didn't you leave because that was the only help or meant his mother Mm -hmm. was a mentor to me i never had that why did you leave i never had that that is the most hard thing that you have that you when you're manipulated right are you like oh well he's gonna change this time right yeah it doesn't change they could have left say he gonna change right well my thing is is that the music and so 
the, the person is the person. Yes. Mm-hmm. But there is a separate entity because I had an issue with how they were dragging Bill Cosby through the mud. Yes. I, I had an too. issue and with that because my whole thing. Back. And then I'm like, what's the statute of limitation, baby? Because this is 50 years later. This yes, man is 80 years, years old. He should have yes. never. You know, yeah, but think never. about what you're saying, Shamir. He's 50, he 80 but something years old. Right. Women, this happened 30, 40 30 years, years ago. And he's in jail now for that. Right. You know, but R. Kelly's been running around for years. years. But R. Kelly, years. But Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby had, had grown with, women. Yeah, that was yeah, grown women. They 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 had had that was grown women. Exactly. Room. <laughs> They and they knew, they and they and knew so, he was married. Right. And knew and he was married. Exactly. Yes. And, that, well, and that's my care. issue. No. My, my, care. my issue is that no. Bill Cosby is a staple. Mm-hmm. Yep. In the black community, in the, in the, in in uh, Major, world every, history. Everybody watched the Cosby Show. World they history. And all, I still do. all ethnicities. Right. Bill Cosby had a platform and and he fed so much positivity. Even now, Education. little Bill, um, a cartoon oh, yeah, for the cartoon. kids. Yeah. It's like no, don't drag him. Fat Albert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 hey, you know. Right. So it's like okay. At some point, we as um, black African uh, African American. Uh, women and men in history have to stand on what we believe in Mm -hmm. on that respect and Mm -hmm. then let the law handle what the law needs to handle. So his music is a separate Mm -hmm. entity. Yes, this man is a genius and we're not taking that from him, but that doesn't give him the right to do the wrongdoings um, and exactly. to be abusive even to young girls. Was, even period, if point blank. Too much is given, much, much is required. required. Right. Say it. Right. Say that Let's again, give some Sabrina. shout outs. We are in the building. <laughs> right. Sabrina said, <laughs> Too much is given, much, much is, is required. required. <laughs> okay. That's Let's get some shout outs. What's up, Let's Walk? Thank you for joining in with us. Wow. Brandon hey. Devon Moore. Hey, hey Nakia. Hey, my Nakia. Hey. What's <laughs> up? What's poppin', Cynthia? Yes, tell and your Brittany. Joy. Let's get it in, <laughs> y'all. Chime in. Put your comments in. in. Put your comments in. What's Go up, Sean Lapamore? Thank you for hey, that one hundred, because you know I was being one hundred hey, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that. You right. gotta keep it one hundred. The only thing fake on me are these lashes and this hair. Yeah. <laughs> now. Y'all are tuning in to Boss Up Houston We do this every Saturday at 10 a.m. I have the lovely ladies, the real bosses of Houston in the building We are sitting here hey. at the boss's table We are doing boss talk, honey hey. And we are in boss the hot move. topics of the talk show We just got off the topic of R. Kelly And we're heading over to the Golden Globe Awards Ooh. So who watched the Golden Globes? And uh, I, I love I the dresses. You know, I'm all about the, the red carpet. Regina, <laughs> Regina, Regina, Regina King killed it. Regina King killed it. Yes, I love her. I love her. I love Regina King. Um, okay, you say you watched the red carpet. Watched the red Who did you like? I liked what uh, Regina King had on. I always like what um, Lupita Nyong'o, I don't know how to say her name, mm-hmm. but you know who I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. She always slays. The guy who played in... Um, Green, green, green light. book, green book. Oh, yes, okay. fabulous <laughs> soup was just <laughs> popping. I was like, oh, yeah, yes. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, normally people really come out and show mm-hmm. out for the Golden Globes. There's yeah. so uh-huh. many different things. We're gonna talk about that, uh, break it down as far as the designers and things in a different subject. Yeah, yes. cool. Yeah, I, I, I love to watch um, the red carpet always. I do too. Um, I think that's the well, let me not say that. That's that is one, <laughs> one of, of the, the biggest things. One of the biggest is things to watch. You know what people have on and things of that nature. Um, now I'm just gonna tell y'all, my man Crush is Michael B. Jordan. Yes. Oh God. <laughs> well, come now that makes me honey. feel like a cougar. <laughs> That makes me feel like a cougar. I'm all screaming, talking about it. yes. Like I done just had a hallelujah moment. Wow. Oh, yes. But God was good though. to him. I love him. Like I just love his um, persona. Right. I mm-hmm. love his style. 
Um, I yeah. love his swag. Yeah. You know, he, he just has a swag about him, so mm-hmm. I love it. Um, and, and you know, some of these uh, stars, I look back and see when they first started, like what shows or movies they first came in on. Uh-huh. And you be like, oh, my God, that was him. Right. Yes. Like one, Such um, a cutie. Another one is Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, when you yes. go back and look at him in those, right. I think yes. I watched I him in uh, Romeo and Romeo and Juliet. He yeah. played in oh, one yeah. of those. Mm-hmm. He was so young. And uh-huh. then now you watch him, Titanic. you know. <laughs> right. Oh, and it's like, oh, my God. You know, they evolve and they grow. Right. And mm-hmm. um, that's how we do. Yeah. I'm a um, ghost fan Shout myself. out to Sharon You are what? for what's joining this? in. Ghost, ghost fan? Yes. I'm a ghost <laughs> fan. Yes. I love it. I love ghosts, too. Mm-hmm. Um, I like Demi, Demi Moore. Demi Moore has a... a Unique style for me as too. far as the red carpet mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, I love uh, the music yeah. and her acting. Um, who did you like on the Golden Globes or see or what? Mm-hmm. What was like a major thing for you? Um, I me it was just close. I love yes. Yeah, the fashion. Fashion. Yeah, the fashion. Like, 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 we were looking I was like, at your I clothes. I was screenshot I was like, yeah. oh yes, I want that. Yeah, I was in the main like so. So we we went into uh, who won. I mean, we uh, happy uh, well, was. We <laughs> do. <laughs> it was only yeah, one great that job. I paid attention to. There were some that that. It was died. only really one that won. I paid attention to that I really liked, mm-hmm. and it was the um, Spider Man movie into yes. the Spider Man. Oh, into the Spider. Yeah, yeah, that that. Oh, that I don't know if y'all saw that good? movie. Don't tell. That's don't the best movie good. You gotta watch that it. I saw this year. You gotta watch it. Yes, yes. You saw this year? No, baby. It's only twelve days. What kind? What we in two thousand nineteen? Oh, you talking about two thousand nineteen? Okay. <laughs> upside, upside. So no, that but need not to go and see Upside. Oh, upside yes. is good. Yes. Oh, upside. Yeah, oh, I want to see uh-huh. that. Was I'm going to watch it. It is excellent. Okay. Wow. It is yes. a great movie. Yes, I've been movie. wanting to watch so that. From beginning I, to end. So okay. the one yes. for Regina King. It won. Bill what? Street, right? Has anybody seen no. it? I haven't. I, I, I haven't didn't know it. about that one. Mm-hmm. I didn't even all know. Because that's what she's getting recognized yes. for. That's yeah. what she's winning for. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I think hey, it did. Hey, girl, looking all good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Um, there she is. So, and she got very hot. Like, they, they're considered best her for Oscar. Yeah, wow. her, her, so she got best performance. Um, Mahershala oh, Ali <laughs> uh, got best performance yeah. for That's such a good He's actor. He's been doing yeah. his thing. He's been yeah. doing his thing. Yeah. Uh, his Christian suit. Bale, yeah. of yeah. course, yeah. best yeah. performance. Yeah. Excellent actor. Um, and Olivia and Coleman. Yeah. Yeah, nice. so. Good to um, so we, you know, we touched on the Golden Globe. Yeah. A touch, yes. a Hopefully, just go see you know Green what? Book. It's Look, let's and yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody won. Oh, I love so, Queen. Yeah. So that one is I a good see one. So I really want to see <laughs> Bohemian. <laughs> <laughs> Bohemian <love> Rhapsody. <laughs> um, but like I said, and Green Book, they got a lot. And mm-hmm. if we support Green Book, I think that's the next coming of how things happened back then and how people retreated mm-hmm. to to what's happening now like as show. more cultures <laughs> come into into mm-hmm. America mm-hmm. and how they feel and mm-hmm. how we feel as serving others so green book was an outstanding movie that. Yes. Is it, is it, it deserves it, it. I it just to watch that one yeah. oh, okay so it, green win. book upside and what else did Bohemian Oh, those the Spider Man. I'm Spider Man. Yeah, I didn't movie. think I was gonna like it like that. We took the kids, but I was like, man, this movie's so good. This animate the what? animation was in the style of a comic book. Like you can see the etches mm-hmm. on them. Like it was really oh, good. Oh, well, you know I'm gonna I love that. I always like Spider Man. Like they have so yeah. many different yeah. versions watch, of Spider Man, right. and mm-hmm. I watch every single one <laughs> yes, of them. I'm like, yes. oh my god. And you know, it was Urban the the Spider the main character that was Spider Man on the movie is a young black boy. Yes, so I his saw mom it. is Puerto Rican or something like that. Okay. Yes. Oh, wow. that yeah. is, that is there was a lot of controversy good. about that though. Mm, you know, really? so it's yeah. be it was a good movie. When they let somebody of <laughs> they just won't let us be great. They won't let us be great. Let us be great. Shout out to Zai Lamb, Mo McCoy in the building. Thank you so much. Oh. You are really showing us some love, What's sharing up, all these videos. <laughs> thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. Gibson. Hey Zarell, hey y'all. Thanks for tuning in. What's going on? What is good? We appreciate your support and sharing our videos. Yes. Hey Allison Dillon, how you doing, girl? Victoria Jones with the hearts. Girl, you know I love you. I need a cake in my life. Yes. Little Jones Bakery, y'all. I'm telling you. Okay. Wow. I can have one after the 28th. Okay. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Just saying. 
slim it on down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Little Trump. All right. Baker. So we're going to go into our next hot topic. The next hot topic, of course, is the orange man. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh God. Oh Trump. Oh da dum 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 Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yes. So, what do y'all think about him shutting down the government? Him uh-huh. talking about building this wall. Maybe. What? What? You know what? What? You know. <laughs> what? Do, what do we have to look for? Like, I'm. I. I just. I'm overwhelmed it's with like the a, politics a that's going on. Throwing a tantrum. Yes. And he it's looked like, like a child throwing oh. a tantrum. Mm-hmm. He looked like the dude from the Children of the Corn. Remember the Children of the Corn? <laughs> Wow! Remember the bad back. redhead oh that was God. just oh my God. God. Yes. That's how he look. Every time I look at him, I either see Chucky. Not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chucky. That's what I'm wrong. Oh, I see Children of the Corn. <laughs> I mean, I don't see anybody that I can take seriously, honestly. Right. You two need to be way too busy running the country and figuring out how right. to keep us safe than to be on Twitter, boo. And I, and then the Twitter with fingers. him, it's like it's yeah. almost like the R. Kelly thing with for me. It's like, uh, on one spectrum, I respect you because I respect him as a businessman. He was I great respect with that. him oh, yeah. um, oh, yeah. as um doing everything business wise. Trump, Trump. Trump. Yeah. Trump wasn't a great businessman. Well, he made us think he was. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that's what he did. It's all about perception. Here's, yeah. here's the right. deal. I don't care what anybody say. He's there. Right. And as there. in the Bible, we have to respect our authorities. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So we respect him in that aspect. Mm-hmm. But what he's doing is wrong. Right. Because right. I I this government shut right. down. Because my to... respect is just really wavering. It really <laughs> is. I'm serious. Let's pray for the waver. It's hard for me to say. <laughs> you're serious. It wavers when it yes. comes to yes. Trump. Yes. Yes. Let's pray for the waver. And, and that's what I'm saying. Him. It's, it's like, it's like you, you want to... Because he's a president, yes, right. Yeah. You want to say, right. okay, that's my president, mm-hmm. you know, you but it's I not. Never but say I don't, but that. I can't, you know, and mm-hmm. but 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 it's just that he's in the <laughs> role, you know, yeah. and so it's like it's it's a it's a a scale for me, right. like a weighing scale for me. Like, what do I say? What do I um, actually? How do I really really feel? Um, and so, with him shutting down the government, you know, everybody was worried about their income tax. Uh, <laughs> I got family that work for the government. They literally no. was worried about so their job. They're going to give. Jobs. They're going to continually right. do the income tax. But what I was worried, and what what really got me was that there are a lot of uh, government workers that are working now for mm-hmm. free. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. And so that that is not cool at all. Because baby, let me tell you something about Miss <laughs> Bacon, baby. <laughs> baby, she don't work for free. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And every minute counts. <laughs> okay. Right. Time is money, honey. One minute <laughs> is money. Is money. Mm-hmm. And so if you have me going to work and and then they're working on 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 free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. N- yeah. That's not no. going. That's so yeah. sad. I'm not going to say do this. It. TSA, make sure. Exactly. That you keep your phone and all your electronics and everything with you. Do yeah. not put them in the bed. Okay. Keep them on Don't you. Because they're not getting paid right now. Oh, oh, our right, protection right, right there. Oh what's trying happening to ruin with that? that? Like, what did I miss something? It flew yeah, off. Yeah, because if you're doing, if, if if TSA is not working, that means they're not doing the extra yes, security. He's putting us oh, well, I don't need to be on nobody's now. plane. And right. And so, wait, 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 wait. Because we. We, we got we things travels. to do. Yeah. So we <laughs> oh my nerve! Uh, oh, they so still have cocktails. If y'all plane? get a nine one one or a SOS, <laughs> if y'all get a nine one one or a SOS, oh, that right. means I'm going down in flames with a bottle of vodka. Baby, send the jets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, and so, how do y'all feel about the wall? Building the wall. It was Lord, a they ploy. They done told walls in Berlin. It was and never going to be a wall. It was a ploy. It was a campaign thing. That's right. his, mm-hmm. That was right. his niche for him, you know, doing to the do campaign to get his little, you know, the, his followers. Right. That's mm-hmm. all it was. It was never going to be a wall. Wow. And right. what about and he now? He's money and got twenty million dollars. He's wavering hmm. from the fence to the to the paper wall to what is going to be <laughs> next week. Wall. I'm you know, just wavering. Well, get, get your paper peaches. wall on. Get your up. paper <laughs> wall on. Let's <laughs> call the wall peaches, y'all. I mean, Wait, no. the wall's name is peaches? Yeah, he said you could call it peaches. He, he, don't, he, said, that, he don't care that don't what it's very threatening He said, y'all can Where call a wall what you want to call it. I'm not big on names. I'm, I'm big on results. But remember, Mexico hmm. was supposed to pay for the wall. Yeah. 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 Never. It's, it's, Mexico, why would Mexico want to pay for the wall? Now we're suffering. 
It's right, a lot. Right. It's a lot, guys. And we're talking about, um, you know, my daughter's in the military, and mm-hmm. and it's it's hard for people who already have people in the military mm-hmm. and people that are going into the military because not only is he endangering everybody else and i'm sure he has a safe house or whatever somewhere but there's you know so <laughs> many Florida, other people right. louisiana and family members yeah everything er- yeah, that's taken apart the senate isn't doing anything the democrats in congress they're trying to do it but when you have this stronghold it's just like a, a fighting power right and they're not realizing how many lives are being affected right exactly. anything can come this is this is my town i'm an american I, I, and I don't feel safe. I don't feel right. Mm-hmm. And it's very scary. But then I have the calmness of peace. And why do we all have the calmness of peace? Because, because we, we got, know this we is not serve home. a God. Right. And we serve a mighty God. Yes. So right. We right. do. This, Ooh, I was jamming that. You know what? Confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> I was jamming uh, on the way in. What a mighty God. Mm-hmm. What a mighty God. We Y'all, serve. she can sing. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, Travis Green, I believe, mm. sings that. Um, but uh, yes, he is a mighty God, and he can um, he can change all uh, do exceedingly mm-hmm. abundantly mm-hmm. above mm-hmm. all that yeah, we, we can, can ask or think. And that's why that's right. that unexpected things yeah. is very prevalent because um, the things that we want, the things that we think are important, the things that we think are major are mm-hmm. nothing to God. That's yeah. right. Our right. major moves are minor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. You know, um, God can do outside of the box we can't even think or imagine right. what god can do um so you know what i got five wonderful beautiful boss ladies <laughs> on this team with me and this is boss of houston y'all y'all are sitting now in at the boss's table we are coming to you live every saturday at 10 a.m and i'm just going to go around the room and let each wonderful lady tell you what they're going to bring to the table this year in 2019 on Boss Up Houston. And we're going to start with Miss Sabrina. Hey, hey. And uh, Sabrina has um, uh, media, fashion. Mm -hmm. She's also um, actress, actress, host. Uh, Baby, we are all multifaceted here um, with the Real Bosses. And that's why we're Real Bosses, because we do real major things. So, Sabrina, tell us what we can expect from your segments um, in 2019. Ooh, let me see if I can remember all this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so February 9th, I have uh, Sins of a Scorned Woman, uh, the movie coming out. So Wonderful. you guys come out, meet and greet the cast and everything. We're going to show the movie. We have wine, food, everything. And then um, I also just got casted into a movie called Pond. So we'll be working on a movie. Awesome. And Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, you know we're going to be there to support. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Support <laughs> is everything, guys. Support is everything. Yes. Right. And um, we got Sins of a, a Father, mm-hmm. a play in March. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to start off in, I believe, Colleen or Victoria, Texas. Okay. And then we're going to tour around Texas. And then um, I just got casted into a new play um, yesterday. So we'll be. That'll be April. That'll be April. Mm. So. Are, uh, so are th- are some of these unexpected? Yes. Yes. No, well, we've been working. Well, I know you was of a working on woman, something. That's last year, right? But it just come. It came. It's coming out this year, right? Okay. And then sins of a father. We've been working on that. So. It's just gonna come out this year. Okay, so you're gonna bring us all the media information, mm-hmm. the movies, oh, the yes. talent. Uh, stay uh, connected to my Facebook, my Instagram. You know, I post everything. Right, so and we'll golden. also uh, <laughs> post that information in the Boss Up Houston page. Um, definitely link up with us, a Boss Up Houston and Boss Up Houston Network. Um, link up with us, and uh, you'll yes. get all that information. You'll see what the Real Housewives are doing. Miss Sabrina Golden is doing, and all of these uh, wonderful ladies and one more bosses. Thing. Well, you got, I got. We're going into season three of Couch Time with Sonia. Yeah, where I give right. entrepreneurs, authors, um, artists a time, a platform to shine. So if you have a business or anything like that, you can come on my segment. It's a two-minute uh, segment where you can just talk about you. 
All right. Ooh, that's, awesome. Awesome. that's awesome. All right. And Miss Leanna, what can we expect from your segments uh, in 2019? Well, we're going to talk a little bit about the real estate market, talk mm-hmm. about uh, development, you know, uh, interest points. We're going to talk about sellers and buyers. We're going to talk about she the, giving us the, business, the many I, different I hats that you can <laughs> yes. wear as a realtor and as yes. a developer. Yes. We're going to go into a little bit of uh, predictions. And okay. what the expectation is for the next 10 years. Awesome. We're going to talk a little bit about infrastructure. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're just going to kind of dive in. We're going to talk about reverse mortgages, you know. Do mm. you think you can retire off of that, you know? Yes. We're just going to get a little bit into all the different areas. Come on. And yeah. perhaps, you know, bring a couple people in to sit yeah. down and talk about it and mm-hmm. give us some tips. Okay. And, right. you know, where to buy, what's the right areas, right. the mm. schools, everything that's going awesome. on in Houston. Awesome. Houston, Texas, Texas honey. Yes. 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 Looking forward to that. Boston. Yes. Uh, Boss. Yes. Boss. Right. Yes. <laughs> and um, we also have Miss Tequila. Um, now, Miss Leanna is a uh, real estate commercial, commercial. right? Correct. Development. Yeah. Commercial and development. And we also have Miss Tequila. Mm-hmm. She does real estate, and uh, you're more uh, residential. residential. Yeah. And so I, I thought that would be a great uh, aspect for both of you guys to be on because there are different spectrums mm-hmm. right. of the mm-hmm. real estate business mm-hmm. and um, definitely the expertise comes through honey mm-hmm. yes, I ma'am. know y'all see the boss yes ma'am we're going to do a little bit of collaboption there yeah. 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 I love yeah. it. all right Miss Tequila yeah. so what do we have to look forward for in your segment ma'am <laughs> I love her. I love her. <laughs> this is 2019 and we have so much going on so for me, uh, last year was very transformational. So this year is going on that. Uh, I will be turning 47. Four plus seven is 11. 11 is a year of transition. So in this year, I will, I'm will. i the reigning queen, grand, uh, Miss Grand 2018-2019. Yes. And I'll use that platform as I uh, visit and speak, um, talking about health, um, the disease, diverticulitis, a, a mm. diverticulosis, mm. which I have and I've had for several years. I've been in and out of the hospital. So we'll go through that journey on the fitness aspect, on what we need to eat, um, how yeah. we need to exercise and prepare ourselves and our bodies mentally, physically, and spiritually. Um, we'll also be talking about, again, like you said, real estate, but real estate on the, the little guy level. Um, maybe you need to rent. Maybe you need to get your credit right. Mm-hmm. We have several people that are coming mm-hmm. in. Um, I have guest hosts that uh, work with credit, that work with getting an apartment, work with um, renting, and also work with getting homes and new homes and, and that aspect. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, awesome. Fitness and the real estate and just encouraging people in their mind to be motivated to go forth on their on their dreams journey yeah in their journeys i i think that's uh, another great thing about being a boss um and then you could be a boss in whatever lane or whatever uh respect that you're in and um the inspiration comes from like i can be a boss starting I can be a boss in the interim, Mm -hmm. and then I can be a boss at the very best level. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so wherever you're at, know that you can be a boss, and you can be a boss in your respective lane. Um, Stay in your lane, honey. Stay (laughs) in your lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boss up. (laughs) (laughs) Boss up. (laughs) Miss Yvonne, what do we have to look forward for in 2019 from your segment, ma'am? Okay, well, um, some of you know I do event planning, so – and not just, you know, parties and weddings. You know, I want to go above and beyond with the event planning. So I'll be bringing you guys those things that I'm doing this year. And then um, also I'll be bringing you guys tips and tricks with event planning. Yeah, um, yes. you know, that's what we need. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For the, from the small to the, you know, girl time right. to mm-hmm. the nights out with your hubby or your boo. Yes. Um, yes. You know, whatever Looking you need. Little the t- grand t- extravaganzas. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
um, I'll be speaking about celebrity uh, events and weddings. Mm -hmm. And then I also throw in some reviews and some recommendations on spots in Houston. Okay. So awesome. 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 Good. That's good. You know, um, a lot of times, a lot of people are looking for venues <laughs> and things right. of that nature. So that'll be really, mm -hmm. really great. Yeah. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. always looking for a venue. Honey. Okay. Yes. That's why right. she right here. All right. Miss <laughs> Mama. Right. And she looked over to the left. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What yes. do what can we expect from now? Y'all know. Hold on. Let me, really? let me give y'all some backstory on this one right here. Miss Monique Lusk, uh, my ride or die. Mm. Okay. Um, she uh is very fluent in the fashion, fashion design. Uh she is a designer in her own res respect. Uh, girl, why I gotta give you an introduction? I don't know, cause I just <laughs> girl, <laughs> special, it's special. Yeah, special. Right special. Yeah. 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 I love Monique. She stands for a lot of great things. Um, right. Even with uh, like uh, Tequila was saying with fitness, we're gonna be talking about health and things of that nature. Um, Monique uh, has experienced uh, health issues and has overcome some things as well. Um, I believe we are all survivors of something, mm -hmm. right? You know, and yeah. um, uh, even if you're surviving a day, honey, yeah. you okay, you, did it. you, uh, you are a survivor. Um, but Monique, what can we expect from your <laughs> segment? <laughs> Other than just my banter, honey, that is just enough. <laughs> I am the hype woman for everybody at this table. Yeah, yes. we are all bosses. We are all fabulous. So for my segment, of course, I will always be in tune with what's going on in fashion. We have most must haves. Listen. People call me Mo. It make me feel like I'm part of the Three Stooges, but I just deal with it. <laughs> my nickname is Nikki, but we gonna but nickname is Nikki, but my name ain't Nikki. Okay. <laughs> so with that being said, we'll be dealing with in anything and everything fashion, covering all the red carpets, covering all of the events. Also, I want to shout out myself because I have to give myself props. I wrote my first stage play. And yes. I'll be casting for that soon. And Ooh, it is yeah. a depiction of my life and the different, um, okay, I want to say victories. Oh, yeah. That yes. that yes. That's just right. traumatic That's experiences that I survived. So we are in production for that. We're going to start that pretty soon. And then, you know, Moments in Monique, the talk show. So we'll have the Moments in Monique segment. Well, I'll be dealing with, again, anything and everything fabulous, honey. Mm -hmm. And um, also making sure that my girls, these are my girls, you know, we got to keep each other uplifted. Yes. Come in with a smile and leave with it. You feel mm -hmm. me? So we're going to keep you all gorge. I'll be bringing on different fashion designers, local. What's up, Sean McLemore? I see you in the building. <laughs> and you say I want to be Tim in. Come Thorne. on in. I'm bringing in all the big people. We're bringing in models. We'll be talking to Miss Golden to look <laughs> over to my left because she's a model that has walked for me before in one of my fashion shows. Yeah. So she has a lot to do with me wanting to keep going. She inspires Aww. me. I hope Aww. I inspire her and everyone else and Miss Bacon is definitely my muse, honey. Right. And I'm just really feeling Miss Leanna's brooches. We had this conversation <laughs> with me. <laughs> I was hey, looking at it. I was trying to me. step my brooch wow. game up. I know. Love AKA the brooch game, game <laughs> boo. Beautiful. And loving Miss Tequila smile. Her energy is infectious, and yes. I be needing it in my life like I need water. Mm. And air. Mm. <laughs> like water, yes. honey. Yes, and Yvonne is fabulous, Jesus. honey. The, the oh. events, she had me when I went to her first event. So like I said, I'll be also be spotlighting my girls. They don't know that yet but they know now Aww. they'll be wearing pieces of mine we'll be telling you where you could find it and uh, we're gonna keep it like that i'm gonna tell you everything i'm gonna give you everything honey <laughs> well, <laughs> tune I in thank everybody for tuning yes. in thank houston, you. Thank you. houston. Yes. we love you we love you houston yes. Yes. we want to thank everybody um for tuning in uh we're gonna be here every saturday at 10 a.m to 11 a.m this is Boss Up Houston, you guys. Yes. And uh, this is the boss's table. We're going to mm. do boss talk. We're going to bring you the hot topics. We have everybody in their respective lanes giving their right. expertise. So definitely tune in, lock in, like, share, comment. Um, 
every time we come on, we're going to give you some uh, great information, great inspiration, and to get you going for the rest of your week. Right. So, um, again, this is Boss Up Houston. We do this every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. This is Boss Up Houston, where we look up, stay, stay up, up, and boss up. up. Boss Beep. Up Houston. Yeah. <laughs>